coming at you with another bourbon tasting video. Uh, the last one uh, that we did, you know, tried some new things. Uh, some American single malts. They're okay. I am a bourbon dude. Rye whiskey, bourbon, that's my thing. That's my jam. <clears throat> um, and I'm happy about to talk about this one. We're going to do a single bottle today. This comes to us from a distillery down in Charleston. So, again, when I'm out and about and visiting places, I'm going to check out the, the, the whiskey scene to see if there's anything there that's, that's worth a try. And chances are I'll probably buy something, especially if it's a local product, uh, especially if it's something that I haven't tried before. Now, in the case of Highwire, I actually heard about this distillery, I don't know, maybe a year, year and a half ago. Uh, I was watching the show Moonshiners. Yeah, I enjoy that show. Um, but they were doing a feature on um, some unique mash bill or something. But anyway, long story short, they featured um, where they talked about red corn being used in a mash bill and came across high wire distillery. And soon after I saw that, I'm like, I got to try that. That sounds fantastic. And so I actually drove to the distillery and they had a new Southern Revival uh, single barrel straight bourbon that was made from Jimmy Red Corn. And I picked it up actually at the distillery. Um, I was hoping to find that same bourbon again this, this last time that I was in the Charleston area. Um, granted, I didn't go to the distillery. Maybe they had some there, but they did have this uh, close to where we were staying. And I'm like, well, we'll just get this. It'd be good. Um, oh, while well, I'm thinking about it, give us a good old thumbs up if you like the content. I'd uh, love to hear your comments and feedback, uh, suggestions, all those sorts of things. And, of course, if it makes sense, I would love for you to subscribe, and that way you can get new content whenever we're doing uh, bourbon and other whiskey tastings. We also do content on uh, the two short-term rentals that we have, one in Michigan, one in South Carolina, um, travel van conversion, mindset journey, all these sorts of things. So a wide variety of different content that you can check out. But Let's get into today's single bottle tasting. And again, this is a Jimmy Red straight bourbon whiskey from High Wire Distillery, or excuse me, High Wire Distilling Company in Charleston, South Carolina. It says classic here at the bottom. I don't know what that means. Um, 47.5 alcohol, so that means 95 proof. Um, I don't know the mash bill on this, um, but... I suspect that, you know, of course, corn is the predominant ingredient, but this Jimmy Red corn uh, is something that, that's um, going to be the predominant flavor on this one. So let's give it a nose. Let's give it a taste. So the nose, uh, it's um, to me, it's like definitely a, a corn note for sure, but not like a traditional sweet corn, but there is a corn note. And I would say with a hint of cinnamon on the nose, it's a very, very, Pleasant. I don't want to say classic bourbon nose, um, but I have a feeling that what I'm about to drink is going to be good. And obviously, I've had a little bit of it, so it is. Pretty. But let's go taste. That's good. You know what I like about this one? You get corn. You get some cinnamon. You get some spice. But the corn is unique, um, and it's that red corn. Um, there's a couple that I've talked about before, and I'll just pull out the uh, one of the bottles. But this is the the Dueling Grounds uh, from uh, Franklin, Kentucky, I believe. Great product, but their main grain in their whiskey as well is a red corn, and to me, the red corn. In my opinion, uh, seems to add a lot of sweetness to it and a little bit more um, not, sweetness is the predominant, but now that that's been sitting, it is the back of my tongue's puckering a little bit in a good way. It's just a really good drink, you know. Uh, it's I like it because it is a unique bourbon, um, you know. I'm not aware of a lot of bourbons other than Dueling Grounds and, and the High Wire that are doing things with uh, Jimmy Red Corn or Red Corn in general. 
I'm guessing there are. I'm guessing they're not the only two in the world, but I don't know. I just find this drink to be really pleasant. Now, I don't know where you can get this around here. I know it's decently available in, in South Carolina area. I don't know about here in Indiana or throughout the Midwest, um, but, you know, if you're ever interested in, in sampling something, let me know. Uh, I might know a person that can help you out on that. So, Yeah. I never had a ear of red corn. I don't usually like to eat corn on the cob, but if I did and it had a big, a big dab of butter all over it melting, sprinkle with a little bit of cinnamon to me that's what it tastes like i know maybe that's a weird thing to, to to think about eating an ear of corn with butter and cinnamon but i feel like that's what this is in this bottle so anyway thank you all for tuning in uh let me know what you think about uh, when i do the single bottle tastings if that's a format you like or if you'd rather me do more of a flight uh of course jamie ron i'm sure we'll be back sometime here soon uh, I'm sure he's found something that I haven't had and probably vice versa. So until next time.